Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. When we last left off, we were doing our best to try to find a source of water. Well, I let the game run just a little bit. I had to set this up over here. And somehow the water broke through. So now I actually have a place for our pitcher pump to go. Yay! I didn't anticipate that, but it kind of works out. Because this water source is tapped out completely. So... I guess it works, you know, things happen for a reason, everything works out. But uh, between episodes, I've started to run out of dirt. Like, bad. Started running out of dirt. And this is the fertilizer for these plants, is dirt. So we're going to have to find some way of either changing polluted dirt into dirt, or find some way of producing dirt. Because uh, otherwise, we're going to be looking for a new food source and quick. Uh, the I was looking through here. Uh, this does require 10, 10 kilograms of, of dirt a cycle, and we've got a lot of food. Uh, and our food has suffered from it, or for it, because I ran out of dirt for a long while. And I probably have to go through and try to find little spotches of dirt. But I don't know where we can find any more other than where your starting area is. Um, I mean, there's a few, few bits and bobs there and here and there, but I don't think that's going to be enough for the long haul. So... What we're probably going to wind up having to do is either do, like, blossoms, which take water. I mean, there's just resources that I don't have. Pinch of peppers. I don't even know if we could what we could do with pinch of peppers. Uh, I mean, they take... Uh, let's see, what kind of... They take... Uh, phosphorus. Oh, phosphorite for... For, um, for that. So, yeah, there's just resources that is just going to be rough. Uh... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have took on too many duplicates at once. Maybe I should just like plateaued about eight to, to, to keep up with things. Um, and the fact that we don't even have enough dirt to actually make mush bars uh, is, is quite, quite scary. Uh, but we uh, remember last episode, we were coming down here to figure out what is what. Well, we found out this is a cool slush geyser. Um, it basically em emits polluted water it's emitting polluted water right now uh, but uh, information says it's a highly pressurized geyser that periodically erupts with freezing crushed ice uh, pr uh polluted water erupting period every 597 uh, 595 seconds every 1890 seconds so it actually is a continuous thing and it it looks like it's pollute it's it produces polluted water which means that we're going to try to do our best today to get a setup where we can get, uh, let's see, where is it at? Yes, research. We're going to need something called the water sieve, which can change polluted water into water. Uh, but our my main focus today is, and started to worry, is the fact that we ran out of dirt. Uh, and I don't know if there's any other plants... That we can take and eat and use and eat from. Um, maybe we should start making more hatchlings, uh, get, uh, like uh, of hatches, live off hatches, because we can make omelets. Um, I mean, we can do frost, uh, sleet wheat grains to make the frost buns, but in order for us to grow sleet wheat, we need water. I think. Uh, Okay, sleet wheat doesn't grow on that. Sleet wheat will grow on this though. Yeah. So it needs fertil it needs fertilizer, which we're we're stacking up. I think we have a lot of fertilizer at the moment. So agriculture. Uh we've got seven tons of fertilizer, so uh and these things right here, the uh fertilizer synthesizers, can take this polluted water and turn it into um you know, regular old water. Or <laughs> Polluted water and turn it into gas, which we can use for power, but it also makes fertilizer. So it looks like we may be getting into a sleet wheat farm in our absolutely near, near future. And we might be making frost buns uh, soon. Very, very soon. Which, it's a good food source. So, I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world. So we're going to have to find a way to, to, to utilize this little geyser here. Which, speaking of, if it, if it produces uh, polluted water, I want to try to get it to where we can 
you know, get all the way around it. And you guys can't dig that yet. So just like clear a little area around it and then make like a little pool at the bottom. So I don't know if it's actually making the stuff yet. It says it's overpressured. So let's get our scientists to analyze it and uh, we'll find out. But it's, it's super, super fast, though. The cool slush geyser, it produces polluted water at 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not that bad. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then it, it eruption period, 595 seconds every 1,080 seconds. So every 5 to 10 minutes or so. Actually, actually a little bit longer than that. Um, so, like... About 10, 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes it'll, it'll do. I th I'm doing the math in my head, so I could be wrong. But whatever 10,000, or excuse me, uh, 1,089 seconds is, uh, that's its its, its, uh, its its thing. So we're going to have to get our scientists down there to, to make sure. But right now I was looking. We're just all kinds of all messed up. And we're trying to get, I'm trying to get algae so, so fast. Going to get a lot of algae. Uh, so water is not going to be our problem in our near future, but food is. So, yeah, I might have to, to get this up and running faster than I anticipated. And what is the temperature here? Is it pretty cold? Yeah, it's pretty cold. Sleet wheat does require a temperature of negative 67 to 41 degrees. So what is our sleet wheat here? That's like 14, 15 degrees Fahrenheit not that bad uh we're gonna have to find a way to mop this water up can we mop that it looks like we can there we go get it all mopped up uh and then what i might do is actually use utilize like there's a big old area down here where we can actually utilize the sleet wheat so let's actually go ahead and start setting that up uh let's make it out of copper We'll just go straight across here. Make a bunch of sleet wheat. I think sleet wheat is too high, three high. Uh, we'll have to test it out. But uh, yeah, if we can make just a giant farm of, of sleet wheat down here. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna need water. Yeah, I know. But we can also, we can use a lot of this ice down here. Pull it, you know, try to find a, a nice hot area to put the ice in. Let it pool. Uh, and, and, you know, probably use this area here because it's just carbon dioxide right there. So it's, it's very, very sterile. No germs. Let's, you know, we can clean this out. Basically do something like, uh, whoops. Do something like, uh, like this. And then we can have a couple of tiles here, a couple of tiles here. Uh, that works. Uh, actually, if that'd be the case, do it like this. Because otherwise, OCD might get me in trouble. But we could build this, and then we can have, like, uh, storage compactors on the top. And have them just deliver the ice there. And then we can have a uh, ladder going down here. With a pump. And, uh, you know, things that I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pump. Then we could pipe it down into these guys uh, for our water. So that that, that will be a resource recyclable thing of our water. Uh, and especially if we can figure out if this... I don't know if the information on this tab is true. Because if it is polluting... If it is producing polluted water, um, then that that would be a... a no, not the end of the world, but we'll use our we'll use a lot of our sand. Let's see filtration. We have 16 tons of 162 tons of sand. But wait, wait, guys, what? Where are you? Okay, I didn't tell you guys to do that just yet, but apparently you guys are over rambunctious. Wow. Um, if they want to, I guess. I you know, I'm not going to stop them, but yeah, I need this. Um, I need this over here, guys. We're going to need algae. Lots of it. Uh, priority. Yeah, break that. On your way out, break that. Or, or not. 
anyway, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out a place where we can actually use or put this um, water filtration system. And it's currently being researched. We still haven't done with it yet. I need to get my research guy on here. Where are you, Mr. Research Guy? Uh, do we even have... Oh, we don't even have him on research anymore. So... He's an apprentice miner right now. Ha! Uh, nails! Nails! Go back and... Uh, go back and start researching for me, buddy. Please. I need, I need your research expertise. I figured that, that he would retain his knowledge from that, but apparently he's his other jobs are more priority over that, so it's best just to, to take him off of that at the moment. Is this dirt? No, that's not dirt. Can you guys... Wait, that's dirt. Hey, you guys take that up, please. And then we'll we'll just do a little, little bit of that. Hey, there's a hatch there. Wrangle that hatch! Actually, don't wrangle it. No, 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 don't wrangle Well, yeah. Uh, how many hatches do we have in here? One, two... Three, four, five... Yeah, let's wrangle that hatch. Looks like one of our hatches died off. I think we can have... I think the, the math that I did is we can have eight up in... Uh, eight a total in this room. Uh, we probably need to build a bigger room for them somewhere else. Because uh, it's it seems like it's having issues uh, and these guys I want to um, Disable these buildings Because uh, I don't want them to be used if, if they're going to use our water So there we go Okay, he got they bagged him a hatch And he's gonna put it in there. Hopefully he puts them in there Where are you going dude? I'm gonna have to find another housekeeper. That's that's all there is to it, because we've got just so much. I've ha I've got Frankie, which is our housekeeper. I've got him doing nothing but tidy, and he's still he's still not doing anything. Frankie, come, hey man, come on. I know I know you're having issues with that, buddy, but come on, Frankie, you you don't okay. Take care off and take storage off. Yeah, Frankie, just tidy up. I mean, I do need him to, to do the storage stuff, though, because he is supposed to take the stuff off the ground to the storage. But I don't know I don't know why he's not doing it. I mean, because he doesn't have anything else other than tidy on. As groundskeeper, Frankie considers tidying errands to be a very high priority. Wait. Does that mean I have to tell him to tidy? If I did this... He would consider that like super, like he would go like, ah, I got to get it done now. And he would do it. I mean, everybody else is tidying as well, but. I don't know. I don't know. That's really weird. Uh, and another thing that I've noticed that I might have to report is that when these guys, these, these critter feeders, uh, you set them up for, uh, there for a long time, the critter feeders were not being uh, filled up So I basically had to dump all of my sandstone or in the material in question Onto the ground here set all of my containers to not even accept uh, Sandstone because I, I took all of it uh, I, I dumped out the sandstone and they started putting it up here. I'm like eh, Why? Uh, but basically I had to take all the sandstone out of these things. I have one back here that accepts it So that way we can keep it in a, in a nice tidy place but, um, yeah, he wouldn't even fill these things up. But now that the, the sandstone's on the ground, he's like, oh, yeah, no problem, boss. I'll take care of it. And they filled these things up quite quick. Because we did there for a little while, maybe for about 10 minutes. I was on a coal. Uh, and I, uh, I had to build this generator here to keep these refrigerators up and running. It was crazy. It was super, super crazy. All right, guys, we're dangerously low on algae now. Can you guys... Um, we may need to set the priorities to everybody. Bert, dig, dig, dig. Nikolai, dig. Stinky, dig. Uh, Gopher, you guys, come on. 
Uh, Catalina. Oh, I need to put Catalina on something else. She's not really anything. Uh, senior Architect, I want to leave him alone. Seasoned Rancher, I want to leave him alone for the most part. Yeah, Ellie's the miner. Chef, no, Chef does the food. Uh, and then Tenure, I need you to get you off of, of that. Yeah. So, he's doing the research. How, how far along has this research come? Oh, he's not even touched it yet. Uh, come on, guys. Oh, I see why you haven't started it. Aha! Go forth, my friends. Go forth. Actually, you know what I might do? To be sneaky, because it's it's overflowed, it's backed up, it's not going to release unless it gets dumped. So maybe what I can do is I can cheat the system a little bit, think smartly, and come down here... Because if it produces, like I, like it said, if it's going to produce water, polluted water, I'll have two open here. And then I'll open this up later, so we'll have this. And this would be like our little area where the water goes. And we can get all of this, you know, dug out. Like that. Uh, have this set to a high priority. Actually, go into the priorities menu and have everything under here set to a high priority. Uh, and that way we can get, you know, everything built, ready for the water. And, like, for instance, we could have the pump down here. We can have the pipes, you know, already coming out. We can have the power line already coming out. Like that. So that way we can get ready to, to hook it up to wherever it needs to be. Uh, and this, uh, we need to get this finished eventually. May even make it bigger, go over like a couple more. Uh, so that way we can, you know, not only have clean water from ice, uh, but we can also have, now the like, question I'm having is, does it discern between polluted ice and ice? Yes, it does. So I could have this down here for ice and snow, and then have a little section over here uh, like dig this little partition out and have like a little stand there so that way we could put polluted ice there uh, because you know we don't want the ice and the polluted ice being mixed and right now I think if I'm not mistaken uh, it's ice and snow in there just ice in there ice in there so we don't have any polluted just yet but there's no telling when that can show up so but yeah it's so cool how we got this found that and things uh, oh gosh, guys. Algae, come on. What are you guys working on? Seriously, where are you at? I just set a ton of jobs or a ton of priority to dig, and they're basically... Did I do the wrong one? I think I did the wrong one. No, no, I set the right one. I set the right one. Why are you guys not digging? We need to get a... Come on, guys. Get that out of the way. There we go. Wow. Okay, so we should start getting a, a ton of of pollute or algae in here now. And you guys are working on that too. Okay. Okay. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. I should get this dug too. But we need that algae. First and foremost. So I could just, I could do this, just set this to a sub-priority, like priority eight. Uh, and they're still trying to get this done here. So that, that works too, because the ultimate goal is algae here as well. But mostly, it's, I'm, what I should probably do is just set everybody to the minor job, like, super quick. Everybody, just a minor, and just go forth. And just watch the world being dug out from underneath our feet. That would be kind of cool. That's not a bad idea. Especially if you need something done, like, super quick. Like, do everybody except for maybe the farm. Uh, the rancher. Uh, no, the farmer. That would be kind of cool. Hmm. I should try that. No, because once I, once I like, take them off of the job, I'm going to be like, oh, well, who goes where? And I don't want, I want to make sure they get packed to where they were. So, you guys are picking up sandstone. 
Okay. Oh, I still have them on that sweep job. Okay, I'll, I'll cancel the sweep jobs. Cancel the sweep jobs. That They're they're prioritizing the sweep job. Uh, what did I make you out of? Uh, I made you out of igneous rock. Okay, so we'll go back and make this out of the same stuff. Igneous rock. There we go. Now, the question I'm going to have, though, is how do I get in here to do the, um, the pump that we need in here to, to release this nasty, nasty water? We're going to have to pump it all the way around town. That's, that's going to be bad. All right, guys, we good on algae for a while? For a little while. Okay, we're good on algae. Not to mention we can also just do this and get some more algae. And then I could do that to get some more algae. And then dig this out. So we're good for now. We're good for now. But I could I could set this back to a lower priority. That way they get some of this stuff done. Because I do want to try to... <clears throat> Try to get this cool, cool slush geyser up and functional and see how often it does spew because I may need to redesign this to make it bigger. Because if it, if it does require a redesign, then I want to be able to do it <clears throat> and not have to worry about it. Because if I have to make all of this down here, no, I wouldn't go that far. I'd probably go this way. Or, or this way against the, the thing and then use this cold this cool area down here but it's kind of kind of weird how some of these biomes are I know the worlds when you make them are randomly generated but it just so happens here that we have a super super hot 135 138 degrees Fahrenheit against something that's negative 14 like wow the the temperature difference there you would think they would cancel each other out and the either the heat or the the cold would win, but according to their biome code, they stay at a neutral temperature between the two. This one, this Wolfermite piece right here, right next to the 137.7, is a nice chilling negative 13. So it's kind of like, wow, really? Oh, and we found another uh, anti-anthropic thermo nullifier. So I technically could pump tons and tons of hydrogen into this thing and I could cool this entire area down to sub-zero temperatures which yeah all right so mop this up because we don't need that water and the area that I wanted to do for here would be put those there and that's where the ice uh, the ice would be okay so they, they did that so that can be canceled get all this we'll get some more Set this to an eight. And then we'll want this and this to be dug out so they can get out. Speaking of, is that hot temperature there? It kind of is. Kind of a, uh, a harsh, harsh temperature. Oh boy, here we go. We ran out of, uh, we ran out of dirt again. Oh... This, this may decline fast, because if you check, our food is going down really bad. It's really fast. Really, really fast. I don't know how to do that. I mean, before, the, I don't think the, the, the meal lice or the meal wood, I don't think they required dirt as a fertilizer. So that's, that's a, new, a new thing. Um, makes it a lot more difficult, I imagine. There's some dirt there, so let's get that. Go around, I guess, looking for little patches of dirt. Um, there's some dirt there. Speaking, of, we needed to get all that. Um, here's some dirt there that I can get. Is that a hatch? Yep, there's a hatch. Wrangle that hatch, please. Speaking of, where did he put that other one? Like, I haven't seen him deliver that hatch yet. 
Are you guys overcrowded? No? So there's one, two, three, four, five. So apparently two of the hatches that I had in there died. Uh, and that's something that is new. They The hatches and stuff will die of old age, apparently. So... Alright, guys. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, wow. Even after all that algae we dug, we're still hurting for algae. Sheesh. Alright, so we can go ahead and set up this liquefier into polluted ice. And then once that one is, once this one is built, it'll be the same. And then we can set this one up to, well, I'm not going to set that one up to anything just yet. Because I don't want them accidentally putting ice down here. But this one I don't really care because this all got has to get digged out anyway. Or dug out. I actually probably need to undo it anyway. For the same reason as this up here. Because I want to make sure this gets built before it actually gets finished. Uh, I don't want them putting ice in it and having them step in like dirty water. Um... Oh my goodness, I'm having so many issues. I may have this may be the point where Because we're just we're just slowly dying here. We're just slowly dying. I think I grew too fast too quickly. Uh but let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh I, I think this is probably where our 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 uh, duplicates have to say farewell. I mean I'll do my best to, to last as long as I can. But like I'm not I don't even have enough dirt to make slush or mush bars for food uh and our food is just in, in constant state of decline so let me know what you should do what we should do in the in the comments down below should we next time go slow uh like stay at like eight duplicates for you know an extended period of time or you know what's the new strategy today i mean before the the mule wood never used to need any type of fertilizer it just you planted it in a planter it would grow uh now it actually requires a material that is finite everything in this game up until a point is finite except for like if you can get uh the the cool scene vi uh, geyser and the the slush we, we kind of found this uh but I don't know. I don't know. It says freezing crushed ice. But anyway, anyway, let me know what you wanted me to do in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to hear uh, if if the if our duplicates, we should just say farewell, you know, before they actually start dying off because, you know, killing the duplicates would. Uh... Why? Why are you having issues? Get out of there. Is, is all the toilets? Uh, it's out of order. Out, out of order. Please, somebody fix it. Oh, we've got duplicates making messes. Yes, it's gonna start make start being uh, all kinds of awful now. So yeah, we may just start a fresh one. Uh, or if you don't want me to, then that's perfectly fine as well. I will do my best not to. Not to, I mean, I don't think I messed it up. It's just we just absolutely just ran out of resources because I didn't realize that uh, that mule wood actually took dirt this time. So anyway, like I said again, I'll say it again. Let me know what you want me to do down in the comments below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Also, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, I think it just grew too fast too quickly. Um, but let me know what you think. Other than that, thank everybody so much for watching. And until next time. See you later.